come to my bed and went to the middle of my facility and then it won't like have to worry about there we go. Right, go bed. You can actually sleep as a morph in this version, which is nice. But you didn't used to be able to. But I think I may have done something to make it like that. In this version. Perhaps. I can't even remember to be honest. This isn't too bad, is it? Is it? Sheep in this tree. I just plant these fucking melons that I've been spending ages trying to get. I did bone meal them, so it does help quite a lot. Right, let's uh, get some gold. I need... Actually, I only need one gold, don't I? Because it's a glistering melon. Glistening melon, or whatever it is. I think it's gliss. I don't even know. I think it's glistening. Glistering, okay. Right, we still got everything I need. I don't know whether I did this in the end. Did I do this? No. I didn't do any of it. Last time, it appears. Alright, finally, we get this one. I need a glowstone, two glowstone dust. A glowstone could go after this one, so that's good. Oh. Is that like brew? No. It must be a mine factory loading machine then. I can't remember. I know that there's like an automatic brewing machine from one mod, I just don't remember which it is precisely. This is looking good. Happy. Oops. Is it too right? Didn't just good. <laughs> Didn't just do something that I wasn't meant to do, right? This is two as well. That's two as well. We're getting there at least. Clear monsters jelly. No EMC valley. Which is fine. Because that's exactly how I want it to be. Uh, I need chandeliers, which are just a lot of torches, and how many do I need per each chandelier? Four. I definitely don't have enough then. I need 20 of these things. There we go. Need some diamonds. Diamonds and gold. Oh, luckily I got both of them. Or I will do. In a minute. Five of those and two logs. I should be able to do this quite easily now. There we are. Chandelier. That thing. Let's do it. That doesn't want to work. 
because I've got potions going in here. All right around. Welcome to watch your builds. Bang, that goes there. Bed gets moved back into corner. I am now safe from any monsters. No monsters can spawn in this area around my base. Monster free zone. Bang, let's check the timing. Five minutes in, right. So I've got to finish this episode somehow. I've got something to do. I know exactly what that is. I'm going to go back to spawn, or at least into the jungle, and I'm going to go and grab some rubber tree saplings, or some sticky resin, because I don't think I've got any of that. It would be preferable to get some sticky resin, uh, rubber tree saplings, because I want to make a rubberized farm, multi-farm for rubber tree, for rubber just simply because it's quite good to have that because I don't want to have to condense everything because condensing is effort later on when I get an a applied energistic system up I'll be able to auto craft things without having to rely on condensing right I've got one they do condense from 192 which is quite a lot in my opinion so it's probably not the best to condense them I can avoid it is 32, that doesn't even have an EMC bunny. So they've got EMC and AV now. Because EMC is a separate thing from Cooling Stage 3, which I really like because they've got a um a chemical bag. Which is great. This is being done on the 5th of April. I believe it was a few days after I did the um uh, which is the day after I finished No. It is the day I uploaded the um, well, the fourth the uh, the alchemical bag uh, video on uh, Minecraft Four when I made the alchemical bag and I was really happy. I didn't sound very happy, but I I'm definitely happy. Don't worry, that that's there's no doubt about my happiness f from my point of view. Like, I've I've waited such a long time to do it. Like, Inside, I was almost crying. I was so ex happy and excited. Thank you, Pahama. Thank you, Pahama, for adding in the alchemical bags. Eventually. That's not in a sarcastic way, that just is simply because it was eventually. We did get it done in the end, which is great. I'm really happy. I'm thankful. That's why his mod is in my mod pack. Because it wouldn't be in here if it wasn't any good. But it is good. That's why it's in here. It brings back memories of Tackett back in the day. A long time ago. First little mod pack I played no idea what I was doing and then um, yeah <laughs> made a divining rod first thing the divining rod so I may as well I had no idea what to do with that though and then the second thing I made was a um, macerator and some billcraft pipes I'd pipe out of a macerator straight into a furnace, or actually furnace or whatever it was. I can't even remember which device it was. I lived in a ravine, which was really good. I really wish I could host like a proper like server on this. It'd be so good having like a proper server on this mod pack. I would really love that. Because I just do what I normally do when I was playing Tacky, which was just live in a ravine quite like reasonably close to spawn but like have it covered up on the top and trees planted on it so it would look like normal just a piece of grass and stuff just an area like any other area 
They would never know that there was a ravine there. Well, I'd probably use Ray's minimap instead of Zan's minimap for the actual server because the actual one pack would use that because otherwise it'd be um because uh, it'd be really kind of a bit cheaty if you could see where everyone was using Zan's minimap or something like that. And this is a way you can configure the server so that they can't keep mode on and like can't view players in the distance. So, I'd probably just have it as a um, raise mini map. Right, home. Okay, back at home. It's nearly night time, but it doesn't matter too much. Right, uh, rubber. Six sticky resin. Got quite a bit of that. Well, not quite a bit, but a reasonable amount. Cool. I will just smell a stack, I guess. And then, because I don't want to waste too much of it, because later on I can be more efficient with it. So, you might be able to guess what I'm about to do. I'm simply because of what I just did then. And it is that I'm going to start doing industrial craft. So, yeah. Look forward to that in the uh, next few episodes we'll be doing some industrial crafty stuff which will be fun yes I'm gonna find it fun <laughs> yeah. I know I enjoy industrial craft I always do so yeah This is gonna be good, I think. I'll be very excited when I do get it going thing again. Though I am gonna end this episode pretty soon and that'll be the end for the ones today. I think. Because I've got to do some maintenance stuff, work things. Don't know. I'm not even sure what I've got to do actually. I've got something to do, I can't even remember what it is though. <laughs> Been assigned a task, but I'm unaware of what the task is. I'll find out in a minute or two when I start, but you know. Until then, we shall see. Or I shall see. Alright, what's the time? Uh, 30 minutes. Alright, that sounds like a good point. Alright guys, um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, quite a lot done today, I guess. Got a multi-farm going. We built some sprinklers for it. We got better power, graded our energy cells. We got melons, we got magnet torch, that's quite important. Uh, we got going to start industrial craft in the next episode quite a lot of potatoes actually when I look at it in the chest there's quite a lot of potatoes uh, we've got some amazing technicolor glasses I think we actually did quite a lot today it's not bad not bad at all oh and we set up infinite lava as well which is like under there now so that's good yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this, to be honest. Alright guys, um, yeah, so, bye.